Hey there, my name is John Soskovich. We're on video number four with my good friend Troy Bishop, Madison County Soil and Water Conservation. What am I? What am I? This episode: the grazing guy, the grazing professional, a farmer grazer professional. Yes, all of the above. Okay, D, all of the above. So. I'm going to take my grazing professional and we're going to go look at some grass. We're going to head outside and we've looked at the farm from Google Earth and, you know, above and outer space. We've looked underneath at the soils. Now we're going to go walk the farm itself, look at some of the opportunities, get some ideas, do some brainstorming, use our big farm whiteboard, and then come back in here and discuss what those opportunities are. So there we go. Yeah, let's Let go. It. Let's go. Okay. See, we're having fun. <laughs> we're out. We took our uh, pasture map that Troy helped me create, and I've delineated my farm. Uh, we're starting to identify a resource base, and we went for a farm walk to notice things, and Troy has uh, picked up on some stuff that he wanted to share, and then we're going to identify some opportunities based off of Troy's observations. So the first thing I noticed was the roof, the roof behind us. Uh, there's a lot of water coming off that. Where yeah. is that water headed? Is it collected with gutters? Is it going into the pasture? Those types of things. I also noticed there uh, the the pasture is awesome. Yes. So so you know you got a lot of sod. That's great. Holds uh, nutrients. It keeps the chickens fed. And then right be below me, I see a water course. Um, it's like right so, over there. Bam. So that water course. Uh, it is on the fringe of this hay field, and then yeah. it delivers clean water to the pond that's across from the brewery. So I, I want to, you know, I don't want animals in that. Okay. So we want animals out of the water course. So we we were walking around, and the fun thing about doing a farm walk uh, with a knowledgeable professional is that it becomes a brainstorming session. You don't have to commit to anything. It's like having a, a giant whiteboard. For me, so three of the opportunities that we've identified, uh, I want to raise pastured livestock. It had been a dairy farm traditionally or in the past. Historically, it was the word I was looking for. So I've got good sod, and then I can work with Troy to identify what soils, what the nutrients are, and uh, optimize for the happiness of the grass to feed the chickens. I have goats, and my dream is to have some cows because Troy's a cattle guy, and I want some cows. Uh, we were identifying trees and I have a, a, a lot of healthy stands of sugar maple um, and maple syrup is one of those potentials that we could use in beer. We could do maple syrup products. Um, so that's potential. And then we have a tasting room right down here. Uh, one of the things that I never even considered working with an ag service professional uh, based in conservation is to make the land beautiful and functional not only for the customers and the people who are coming here, but for the livestock and wildlife that would want to inhabit the area. If you make it inviting for the livestock and uh, functional for the people, it's easier to get people to interact with nature. More people respect nature, and that's how you do conservation awareness. And it tastes delicious because the beer's right over there. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can enjoy a brew, mm -hmm. hang out with your buddy. Yeah, I can see it now. Wait. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Troy, we've gone for a walk. We used our map and we've collected a lot of information. I've, you've given me insights on my land that I had just, there's things that I didn't even think of, or I've been here long enough that I forgot that I even okay, buddy. see them. You're getting a little older. So I, right. A senile. What, uh, <laughs> what do we have and what do we do next? So we're going to go in and uh, figure out a plan of action because you're the customer and I'm the, the guy helping. So we, we need a, what are we gonna do with all this information and these, all the stuff we did today? And um, we need our next steps and we need to analyze and make some decisions on our next steps. Because we wanna help either put a plan in action or, or we can just say it was a great walk I uh, thank you very much for your time. I need time to 
think about all these things before we get a plan of action. Yeah. But, but you are the driver of this conversation. That That's what we're... That makes a lot of sense. When I had traditionally thought of working with somebody like you, Mr. Troy, I was like, oh, I'm going to show them my farm and they're going to be like, here's the most profitable thing you can do on the farm. And that's, that's not it, is it? No. I, he helps me identify opportunities and I'm going to go home and without Troy, analyze them and just say, do I really want to do this? Do I really not want to do that? Do I, you know, whatever. I have to overlay it with the rest of my holistic life picture. Uh, and then we pick our favorites and we're going to analyze them and we're going to do that in the next video. Cool. Yes. We're fake walking back inside. Walking back inside. So that, oh, that was a good walk. Right. Warm enough. It's wintry mm. outside, but it's a little warmer today. Yep. So we learned that there's some opportunities on farm. There is. And we should go to the last video of the series, video number five, and say what? We should go over those opportunities, right? Is that a thing? You're the leader. You're the pro. Oh. I was excited because I got to walk around with this guy, and he was so, like, you could do this, and you got water there, and what's that there? And this we, is we, be, we really did a lot of brainstorming, Yeah. and now we got to bring it into what the action items are, and okay. that's what we're, we're in here trying to do is you're the customer. I want to help. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? So where we go from here is into the next video. Like, subscribe, and comment, everybody on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. It, it just, I feel it's so unnecessary, <laughs> but you'll never believe this. <laughs> Troy Bishop, John Siskovich, at it again. Until next time, we will see you out in the field. Peace out, brother. We take ourselves very seriously. <laughs>